Well, hello, my beautiful Torians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for mid June, right through to mid July 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one to one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do do personal readings and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Taurians, this is your singles love reading. I'm going to get your overarching energy first and then follow it with a Celtic cross just to see who is coming in your way. So let us begin. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurians? What do they need to know regarding their singles love life? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of at this time regarding love? Can you please show them the way? Uh, the first card is the uh, house there. Now, I'm actually being given a word in the water because I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading and I'm being given the word bewilderment. Okay, so some of you are, you know, a little bit uh, confused as to why you are single at this time. Uh, you may have expected to be in a high level commitment, uh, but some of you, I feel with that house energy, uh, you are focusing on your stability at this time. I really feel that you're on a personal development journey and uh, we will go deeper than that, but I'm um, just being given the word bewilderment. Now this could also mean that someone out there is currently reading some text and they just read the word bewilderment. So it may have uh, popped up in the energy there, but uh, it can indicate that uh, some of you you know, it's a uh, concern that you feel perhaps that, you know, you haven't been uh, connected to anyone for some time and you're just wondering, is it going to happen? Well, looking at your overarching energy, the answer is yes, okay? Now, I see that a uh, soulmate has been put on hold for you at this time. Uh, your first card there, of course, is the house. So you're building security. A lot of you may have responsibilities in the home space right now, or you've been saving or concentrating on a long-term investment for you or your family. I mean, some of you may have been saving for a house, literally to purchase real estate, but uh, the house energy indicates family or comfort, stability. So uh, I feel some of you, yes, there are some responsibilities on your shoulders, right now that you've been more focused on doesn't mean that you don't want love with the uh, soulmate card in the resistance position it almost like it's on the reverse there uh, when it's in this position it's almost like you may have put love on hold just to focus on your tasks or creating a life for yourself that is comfortable so with this house energy this is really about building structures in your world now this card it can connect to the four pentacles so this can indicate that some of you Whilst you have a desire for long-term security, I feel a lot of you have been uh, so caught up in your goals and your dreams that sometimes it's really hard to find fun, okay? It may feel like there is a, a level of um, repetitive cycles going on in your world that has become comfortable. You know, sometimes we build a structure for ourselves and we need to create space or make some adjustments in order to let our hair down or go out and find things that are fun to do. I mean, how house card can also indicate that some of you have been a bit more of a homebody recently and it has um basically slow down your process to find love but I actually feel like a soulmate has been put on hold on purpose for you to create stability security and um, I feel some of you there's been this uh, spiritual journey that you've been on so it feels almost like this person who has always been meant for you has been on the sidelines I mean they're having their own journey of course to uh, spiritually evolve before they come in for you but I feel for some reason they've been put on hold and I feel it's because you are meant to be focused on your life's purpose path and your mission. I mean, some of you, uh, there's an energy here of, um, you know, creating that stable environment. Um, some of you, I mean, there's also an energy of 
this level of privacy, okay? Uh, you uh, are someone who doesn't let anyone into your inner circle um, because you're so discerning about the company that you keep. So I feel like, you know, you as you spiritually evolve, your social circle gets a little bit smaller and smaller. So I feel, you know, you are someone who really protects your privacy. And um, I just feel like you've been doing life. There's that energy of, yeah, doing life, creating stability. And some of you may have even noticed that there was some sort of ancestral lineage uh, cycle of repeat that you have been given the difficult task of breaking. Because I feel there's an energy here of um, repeating a cycle or looking at ancestry in some way. And uh, basically, I feel for some of you, uh, it's like you've been creating an environment that is familiar to you um, to sort of live the good life, okay? So I feel like your focus hasn't been 100% on love. And for some of you, it could be that you went through a separation um, because this is a card in this position. It can indicate that you've separated from someone in the past that you loved dearly. You thought that they were your soulmate. Uh, you may have expected to have lived your life with this person and taken the journey of love and life with them, but it did not meet your expectations or disappointed you in some way. And I feel, you know, uh, as a result, spun you off to focus on your own security, to being independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, and not really needing anybody because you don't need anybody. You're creating a space in your world for the right person. Let's put it that way. Now, we do have the dog, as I said, in the resistance position, and this indicates that there is a soulmate coming in, but they have been put on pause. It's very much a new person. I want you to be aware of that. Some of you may have a feeling that someone you know already has feelings for you, and they do. There is an energy here of a friend who kind of has a romantic frizz on with you. It almost feels like will they, won't they, but I actually see someone new coming in for you, so uh, that's what's happening there. doesn't mean that you may not want to explore something with someone you already know, but I see a soulmate, someone that you have not met yet coming into your life, okay? Now, of course, it is number 18, so that indicates that some of you have been feeling very uncertain. You've been going through uh, a deep period of looking at your shadow self, you know, learning the lessons that you've experienced from previous circumstances. And some of you may not have been in a high-level commitment before ever, and you may be just on this very independent path, but you're about to have a very quick change. Let's put it that way. You've got the stork there, which means sudden improvements. Some of you have waited a long time for love, and suddenly, out of the blue, there is someone new coming into your life. And this person is a soulmate because anything that's in the resistance position, it will go into the upright there. So uh, I feel this is a commitment coming in, a very romantic connection, someone you can rely on, someone who is trustworthy, someone who is a companion, someone who is uh, very protective and loyal of um, love there. Uh, really interesting. I'm just picking up this energy of, uh, and it's not something I've experienced, I'm just getting like a, a sharp pain, almost like I got a piece of glass or um, what do you call it? Uh, a splinter in my hand. Okay, and I'm actually looking and seeing like a small little mark and I haven't got anything here, uh, but I just felt it. So either someone out there has uh, experienced um, some sort of hardship pain, because it can indicate that you offered your heart to somebody and it hurt. So I'm picking up on a very sort of protective, defensive energy, and some of you are in a period of healing, but I feel this new person who is coming in, uh, I feel they are also very protective of love. They believe in the sanctity of love and marriage because this person has experienced a heartbreak as well, and they do not take love for granted is what I'm seeing there as well, okay? I'm just going to ground my energy because it was very sharp, and it just feels... Um, hmm. I mean, for some of you out there, I don't even know what it is, please drop a comment in the box below because for some of you, it could literally have been that you're listening to this reading and suddenly uh, you got a splinter or something and I'm just picking up on the energy and, you know, I'm sending you a huge hug out there because it was quite sore, okay? So I'm just going to move on from that. Um, now, we do have the rider. The rider energy is basically movement. Okay, now some of you have a vacation booked. Uh, it doesn't have to be that, but I definitely see movement. This is your outcome energy. So 
things are going to take uh, a sudden sort of turn of events where everything changes. I mean, the rider literally means arrival of someone new or even a visitor into your life. So uh, there's going to be some news, new information. And also this is a card to indicate that you're taking action in some part of your life. So you're taking the initiative to make some changes. The rider always runs off or gallops off into the sunset or into the sunrise. So I feel like you're focused on creating happiness in your world. Happiness, of course, comes from within, but ultimately you're only going where you feel truly happy at this time. And I feel you're putting your own needs first. It's number one. But number one also connects to the magician card energy. So it means basically that you're turning your visions into reality using inspired action. So suddenly, I mean, some of you, you've literally put looking for love on hold. And when you meet this new person, I feel that actually you're doing something very exciting, bold and daring for yourself. There's an explorative energy here. And we've got the stork which of course means sudden improvement, sudden movement. And after a long period of waiting, there is change. So um, I feel there is almost like a renewal in your energy as well. I feel like you've been in a transition period where you haven't really wanted to focus too much on love, but I feel now suddenly you are a little bit more focused on it. And um, number 17 is the star energy, which basically means a wish being delivered, but also you've been in a period of healing and suddenly you get really clear about what it is that you want in love and certainly what it is you do not want in love there as well. But, uh, you know, I feel also... If you're looking to meet someone to have a family with or uh, someone to join your family lineage, I feel like you're calling in a soulmate at this time. Now let's get to uh, your Celtic cross just to see a little bit more the details of what is happening here for you. So let us begin. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Now it's really interesting because I am scrying at the same time as doing your reading. I'm seeing uh, a Ferris wheel in the water. Okay, uh, Ferris wheel. Now this could indicate either you're going to be invited to or go to a carnival or festival or a place where, um, you know, there is a Ferris wheel. Perhaps it's going to be an image or a sign or a symbol that you'll see over the next coming weeks or months. So uh, please take it as it resonates. I mean, spiritually, it can also indicate that you have been in a bit of a cycle in life where um, there's been a lot of ups and downs and now you need to prioritize fun a little bit more. Okay. Um, some of you, if you've been in and out of the dating scene, for example, you may have met some real doozies and it kind of put you off looking for love for a while uh, but I feel there was a cycle of change here and I feel also there's this energy of being in the right place at the right time to meet the right person this time I mean for some of you it could even mean that you're about to go on a date with someone and they bring you to uh, you know a festival or uh, some sort of carnival where there is a, a ferris wheel and you both go on a ferris wheel so it could literally be that so please take it as it resonates these images they may mean nothing in this moment um, but suddenly everything starts to slot into place there and some of you beautiful um, Taurians, I feel some of you may also be um, talking to someone new already and you're wondering where it's going. And if you're wondering where it's going, I see love here. I see that you and this person, um, there's an energy of reciprocity. There's an energy of this person really being a gift to you and you being a gift to this person. I actually see a lot of romance here and I feel... There's going to be a sudden change in your status. So if you're kind of wondering where it's going, I feel suddenly both of you are going to commit to each other, almost like put a label on it. There's a bit of a breakthrough here. Uh, but if you are not talking to someone new, then it's not too far away where you will be talking to this new person. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurians? What do they need to know? Okay, I'm going to go one more because uh, the outcome energy, there's a lot of swords, so there's a lot of uh, thinking here. Um, yeah, so in the next six weeks, I definitely see there's a potential to be talking to someone new, but I feel a lot of you are focused on your projects at this time, and I also see uh, two energies coming through. There is um, a friend here where um, either you go traveling with a friend or you go on a trip with a friend or you get invited by a friend somewhere. I get a sense here that there is a friend here who wants to set you up with someone and it's not someone that you know. 
okay? So that's also coming through here, but um, we'll get to that energy in a moment. Um, the first card there is the devil. So you're feeling really stuck, okay? This is a card of being truly helpless to change your situation in some way, but you're identifying where it is that you're feeling stuck right now. For some of you, it may be that you attracted um, either very toxic people in your life at some stage, or you are trying to cut out a repetitive cycle in some way. But the devil card indicates that um, some of you or maybe even feeling a bit fear, especially if you've been out of the dating scene for a while, you may see that, you know, um, the environment that we live in right now, there is a lot of transient energy. So some of you, you know, you're looking for a long term relationship, you're looking for, uh, you know, something traditional, but you may feel that nobody out there right now is presenting as wanting, you know, anything more than lust, because the devil card is lust. And I feel like you're just, you know, waiting, watching, observing, you're waiting for the one. And I do see here with the seven of pentacles, some of you may be connected to someone physical at this time, or there may be like a frizz on with you and a person, but you recognize that it's just physical right now. Uh, you may be wondering where it is headed. Okay. Um, I feel for some of you, that there needs to be an honest, open conversation. I mean, if you've been dating someone, I feel it's moving towards a high level commitment. But if you've just been like, you know, flirting with someone or sort of physically involved with a person with no strings attached, you know, that sort of energy, um, I feel that there needs to be a little bit more of um, an open conversation to kind of ask where this is going. Because right now I feel this person is kind of comfortable with the way things are, but I do feel that there is a potential for this person. They're developing feelings, but I feel right now there's this understanding between both of you that things are kind of like at a certain stage and they're not developing any further than that because there's been no conversation about it. Okay, so um, please take it as it resonates. But I'm going to step away from that energy because I'm just going to focus on those who are single at this time. Uh, the devil card represents uh, kind of feeling a little bit like bound to a situation. This could be that you're bound to work. Um, maybe you are a workaholic or maybe you've invested um, your time in building a very comfortable life and comfortable energy is now becoming a little bit stagnant. You feel it's a repetitive cycle. And whilst you are truly grateful for a level of security, you may feel that um, you need a bit of a change. So the devil is not an evil card. It is to highlight where you've been feeling stuck in your world right now. And the seven of pentacles, it also is your crossing card. So I feel some of you, it's like the usual places that you used to find people or you used to meet people. It may feel like it's closed off to you right now, or they're not the sort of people that you want to attract at this time. So the Seven of Pentacles indicates that you are um, kind of like opening yourself up to a new strategy, a new way of thinking or reimagining what it is that you want when it comes to love, because you tend to invest all of your heart and soul. And, you know, basically you are a gift when it comes to love. And it is really going to take a very um, special person for you to kind of like take your eyes off your projects for a little while to create space for love. Let's put it that way, um, because I feel like you are very, very busy right now. Now, this Seven of Pentacles can also indicate that some of you, if you have separated from a person, but you're still bonded to this person in some way, uh, you may be wondering, can you save it? Well, I feel like the answer is yes for a certain period of time, but there needs to be a, a level of uh, accountability taken with this, because the World Card, it can indicate that you've been learning a lesson about um, I want to say people taking each other for granted. Okay. So there's just this energy of things coming to an end or coming to a close because I feel this level of shutting down or becoming distant. So if you have been involved with someone who promises the world but delivers nothing, I feel um, you are breaking this cycle of repeat at this time, and that's a very difficult period to be in. But can you heal it? The answer is yes, but I feel it will continue to repeat a cycle going forward, okay? For those of you who are single, the Seven of Pentacles is basically about you focusing on your projects, investing your time and your energy, and some of you have literally withdrawn from looking for love because you feel at this time it's just not worth looking because there's no one who is creating that spark or there's no one that you're interested in right now so I feel like you've just been doing you and um 
The Seven of Pentacles in this position, of course, it is a card that you read in reverse as well as uh, the upright. And I feel some of you have almost like given up on looking because you feel love has not been rewarding for you at this time. So you've been investing in yourself. Um, that's all about to change. We have the Six of Pentacles coming in. This is what's on the earthly plane at this moment in time. The universe is sending you an unexpected gift, okay? Six of Pentacles also tells me that some of you have been learning a lesson about reciprocity, about balance, and um, making sure that you meet someone who uh, steps up and gives as much as you are giving in a relationship. Now, of course, it's all about the ebb and flow in a relationship, but... Um, I keep being given this energy of give and receive, give and receive, and you tend to be an overgiver. When you fall in love, you give your whole heart and soul to a person, and you're very protective over that person, but now it's your time to meet someone who is also displaying the same level of reciprocity that you offer in a relationship. There's a very understanding relationship coming in here. Um, now, Six of Pentacles with the Six of Cups here, Start to look at your numerical synchronicity. And six, of course, is the lover's card there as well. This is very positive because it means you're coming into alignment with love. But I also see that there is a friend that you know right now who has someone in mind that they want to introduce you to. So they may invite you to an event. Uh, now, this could be a dinner, could be uh, an engagement, could be a birthday, could be a wedding. Uh, they want to invite you to something because I'm getting strong invitation energy here. And they want you to meet someone. So let me just pull a card on this. How does my beautiful Torians feel about this person that their friend wants to meet? Six of Pentacles. I mean, look, I've just clarified the Six of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. So I feel um, your friend wants you to meet somebody and... Um, how does my beautiful Torians feel about this person? Ten of Wands, okay, well, Ten of Wands kind of indicates that you are currently overcommitted in your life and that um, you're clearing space for a new beginning. But also, yeah, the Hermit, it tells me that you're not really thinking that this is the one, okay? And it really connects to your overarching energy, which tells me there's someone new, okay? Even though you don't know this person, that your friend wants to introduce you to, uh, this tells me that, you know, you're holding out for someone else. Um, I feel with the Ten of Wands, either they've just come out of a relationship or they've just come out of something and you're like, no, they need to be alone for a while before they even open themselves up to a relationship. There's just something about them. They don't have that spark, okay? And you're looking for that spark. So, Let's dismiss that energy right now. Um, we do have the lover's card showing up for you here. Now, this is in the um, past position. So this tells me that, yes, you have had a high-level commitment in the past, but I feel like for some of you, um, the Six of Cups can indicate that this person may want to reach out and reunite with you. And with the Devil card, I feel like you're tempted. However, with the World card, it tells me that you're firmly leaving the past in the past where it belongs it feels almost like the past is nothing new to say okay so i feel like you're detaching from this i mean the lover's card also indicates choice so i feel right now you know some of you especially since the hermit card came out some of you may feel that you go unnoticed in the world that uh, nobody's interested in you but that's not true at all i actually see that you attract a lot of people but you just don't notice at this time because you're so focused on your own responsibilities on your own tasks on your day-to-day -day living trying to create um, you know a simplicity in life trying to eradicate drama out of your life but the lover's card tells me that you've decided that you're looking for the one now. You're looking for a soulmate. And I feel like you are holding out to meet someone who's truly special. And you're not really going to give any of your time, because time is precious, of course, to anybody else. So this is you sort of making uh, a promise to yourself that now you're looking for love. And you're vibing at a frequency to meet your soulmate. Because that is you putting out the vibes to the universe in the past. You've made a decision. And uh, the Six of Cups, you know, these two cards indicate a gift being offered from the universe. A gift of love to build new memories with someone new. Now, 
sorry, let me just put them back in the right position. The Six of Cups is here. Uh, the Six of Pentacles was on the earthly plane. The Six of Cups, which is in this position, which is above you, you know, as above, so below. So whatever it is you're manifesting right now, the universe is about to deliver. Uh, Six of Cups indicates, you know, an offer of romance, an offer of love, but it can also indicate that there is a very strong nostalgic period for you where you are um, thinking about all the lessons that you learned. And um, for some of you, not all of you, you may have had a high level commitment in the past and I'm sending a huge hug out there if you've gone through this, but some of you may have had someone who was dear to you who transitioned and it almost feels like um, this person, you yearn for this person's energy even though they have transitioned and part of you, it feels like you cannot move on, but I feel this person wants you to be aware that they want you to be happy. So um, it's almost like they are kind of like orchestrating a meeting between you and this new person because they want you to be happy. It's almost like they're overseeing someone wonderful and new coming into your life. So that's very strong there. And with respect, I'm going to move away from that energy. Um, but for the majority of my beautiful Taurians who have not experienced anything like that, and you're single right now, I feel like you're about to meet someone who is a meeting of minds and a meeting of hearts. And I'm hearing a song with this card. Um, very famous song, actually. It's um, Lionel Richie, Hello. Okay, uh, the lyrics I'm being given right now, Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. Okay, uh, now this is the person that you've been almost like manifesting is what I'm feeling here. Uh, so I feel, yeah, I feel this energy of um, when you meet this new person, it's in their eyes, it's in their smile. They're so genuine, okay? And immediately I feel there's a spark between you and this person. I'm just going to pull a card and see where you will meet this person because a lot of you are going to meet this person traveling or um, it feels very much like um, it could also be a place where you go to discuss things. You know, I don't want to say a book club or, um, but it could be some sort of group setting where there is an event where you voice your opinions or, um, yeah, I, I feel there's just a deep conversation between you and this person. I mean, for some of you with that Ace of Swords, you may meet this person online and they may be at a different uh, part of the world than you, different country, maybe different state. So a lot of you may meet um, this new person online, but if you are not interested in meeting someone online, I feel it could be connected to travel, okay, or some sort of group travel or a group event where you go outside your usual parameters High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so there is a psychic bond between you and this new person. Queen of Cups literally means there is an attraction and you start to fall in love. There's a deep understanding here and empathy, okay, and affection. This person is a really good listener is what I'm being given here. And with that uh, High Priestess energy, it's almost like you've known each other before. There's an otherworldly experience between you and this new person that you're about to meet. But I feel it's you doing something you love for you. Uh, let me see, can you show me a little bit more where my beautiful Taurians may meet this person? I mean, some of you, it could be a spiritual retreat, for example, because the High Priestess is their hangman. Now, it could be something where there's new knowledge, because remember, the hangman puts himself on the tree of life, and you've got the hangman right there. Um, so it could be where you uh, go on a course of learning. Perhaps it's like opening yourself up to new information. Um, hangman is basically sacrificing something or being willing to sacrifice something in order to gain something new. So I'm getting two energies. One is for those of you who feel bonded to a person who is very tempting that keeps coming in and out of your life, letting go of that person finally creates space for this new person to come in. But for the rest of you who are not connected to someone in the past, I'm really feeling that for some of you, um, there is a date change. And what I mean by that is that um, some of you may have an event that you've booked but you may have double booked and you may have to put something on pause in order to go to something else. Or there is something here that perhaps you have booked, but it gets delayed for whatever reason. I'll just go one more before I move on. 
Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. I mean, there's a lot of people in your energy, okay? Uh, a lot of queens are showing up in your reading. Now, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy, but it feels very much a group setting or, you know, friends coming together. So it could be that you're invited to something overseas um, and you go there and you strike up a conversation, but it feels like the whole world kind of melts away when you meet this new person. It just feels like you may be in the busiest coffee store in the whole wide world and all you see is this person and vice versa. It's almost like everything just melts away in your own little world. You and this person are just perfect for each other. Um, you know, Wheel of Fortune, you're going to be divinely guided to this person because they are fated to meet you. This is is a wonderful turn of events so I feel it's going to happen by surprise you're not going to be expecting to meet this person wherever you are but I feel with the Queen of Pentacles this is your near future so this will be the next six weeks Queen of Pentacles you're focusing again on your stability focusing on your responsibilities working really hard I mean if you have a family, for example, you may be investing in your children or your family in some way, a carer. Uh, this is about you being practical and grounded and basically being the gardener of your uh, life, you know, cultivating your landscape. But this card is a homebody. So I feel for some of you with that Ace of Swords presence, you know, if you're at home, you may meet this person online, okay? Uh, but I'm really getting a sense here that right now you're focused on your projects, your money, um, and also your security, it really connects to your house card at the beginning there. This is your advice to yourself in this moment. As I said, Four of Pentacles, it really connects to the Four of Pentacles, right? So um, this is your protagonist card, and this is your advice to yourself in this moment. Uh, focus on your finances, focus on uh, stability, focus on, um, you know, long-term security, basically. Um, but also, I feel like you are saving yourself for the one, and... The one is about to be delivered here for you because there is a breakthrough with this Ace of Swords. This is the external circumstances which indicate you will be talking to someone new. So whether that's online or whether that's at an event, uh, I mean, the world really connects to uh, this energy of cycle, okay, the Ferris wheel kind of energy. So um, I feel there is a turn of events. It's it's almost like feeling like it's your turn now to kind of meet someone and be with someone. But the Ace of Swords, it literally means transformation. And it's going to happen really quick because this is a card that indicates with great velocity, everything changes. And there's a, a conversation that strikes up between you and this person and it's instant. You both know that you've met someone really special. And, um, you know, aces are divinely guided by the universe. So it feels like um, fate is intervening to transform your life at this time. Now, some of you beautiful Taurians, you may have uh, been going through uh, a difficult period. You may have gone through a procedure or um, some sort of surgery right now, and you're just not uh, up to meeting someone new. When the moment is right, you will be put in the right place to meet the right person, okay? So uh, do not worry about it. I definitely get a sense that you are building back your strength and you may feel a little bit stuck right now, but the universe will make sure that you are in the path to meet the right person when the moment is right. So uh, breathe, what is meant for you will never pass you by. But, you know, the Ace of Swords is a card of action. So I do feel, and don't shoot the messenger when I say this, I do feel this is a time of action for you. Um, you know, coming out of your comfort zone. You have a lot of cards that indicate home body or being in some level of structure or a cycle repeat in your life. And we all get into it. You know, structure is good. Structure makes, you know, our lives run smoothly. It means we know where we're at. But I feel you're being asked to be a little bit bold and daring right now and accept invitations and sort of get out there. And uh, I feel the universe is going to make sure that you meet this new person. Now, the hope and a fear, we have the hangman energy. Uh, fear may be that you don't want to be waiting for ages, okay? But also, I feel that some of you are worried that you will almost attract a situation that perhaps was not good for you in the past. You are wondering, will it happen to you again? The answer is no. Also, with the right person, you know, you will be your wonderful, authentic self. And you won't have to always be the giver or always be sacrificing your time and not seeing any effort from the other person. Um, also, I feel the fear here is meeting someone who is indecisive, who doesn't know what they want, someone who's going to lead you down the garden path and sort of abandon you there. Uh, but you're not going to meet that sort of person this time. I feel like, you know, you've waited for the one and now you're about to um, meet this person and it feels like it was worth the wait. 
also, I mean, your outcome energy, again, for the next six weeks, we got the Five of Swords, we got the Eight of Swords, and we got the Queen of Swords. This is a very sort of detached energy. So again, it would hint to me that you may meet someone online or you meet someone and there's just going to be lots of messaging back and forth, getting to know each other. And it feels very much like the will they, won't they kind of energy. Um... But the Queen of Swords can indicate that now you are sort of really focusing on your purpose. You're aligning yourself with your intentions. I mean, the Eight of Swords is a card that indicates that you're feeling a little bit stuck. So some of you may be a little bit guarded due to previous experiences. Remember, previous experiences, they inform us, they teach us lessons, and uh, they are in the past. And whilst they shape us, we can never really go back to the past. They basically uh, influence us and how we operate going forward. But we must resolve those things within ourselves in order to make sure that they do not uh, prevent future happiness. So... Um, the Five of Swords is an energy of tension, okay? Now, tension can be actually really good because it highlights something is changing within you and you're feeling a shift and it means you need to change, okay? So if you've been feeling a little bit stuck in a rut, feeling like a homebody, um, and it felt really nice and comfortable at first, now that Five of Swords there is to inform you that you are about to change. Um, also, the Five of Swords can indicate that, you know, you are someone who um, is about to meet someone who is a little bit different from your usual type. And the Eight of Swords is a card that indicates that... Um, you have to be really honest with yourself at this time. Where do you feel stuck in your life? Where is the routine? You've been working on yourself, which is perfect, and you are in a cycle of protection, protecting your heart. But, you know, the Eight of Swords can indicate that some of you feel a level of um, a limit, let's put it that way. You feel, yes, it's been difficult to find someone, or you felt some level of restriction, but I feel like you're about to overcome that with that Queen of Swords. This is about you being a very self-sufficient person and um, this independent streak. Some of you may wonder if people are intimidated by your level of uh, self-sufficiency, but actually the right person is going to embrace it. Also, all these swords, swords are about communication, they're about thoughts. Don't let fear get in the way. I mean, some of you are shy, so when you meet this person, you may feel a little bit shy, but actually, suddenly it feels just easy. And you will know that this person is the one because it just feels easy, okay? Um, now, the world, again, it indicates you will reach your goal, ultimately. Uh, but also, it means that you're in a cycle where you're going to be in the right place at the right time to meet the right person. But for some of you, this is traveling. So it could be an event that's in the future that you already have booked. Um, but also with the world card, again, it connects to you sort of like meeting someone online and then being at a distance. So let me just pull one more card before I close your reading. Ultimately, I feel a lot of you are going to be talking to someone new, okay? But I also feel like you're so focused on your plans at this moment in time. You're really busy on whatever it is that you are doing in your life uh, that you need to make some adjustments and create space to focus a little bit more on love. Knight of Pentacles. So there will be a solid offer or a person coming in who really makes an effort um, and I feel this is a traditional relationship someone who is faithful someone who is kind loving someone who basically is open-hearted yeah um, with that six of cups there I mean the six of cups it can mean to reunite so some of you could be invited to a reunion but I feel this is about building new memories six of cups literally means a gift an offer of love of uh, it almost feels like this new person who's coming in it feels like first love and that's really hard to find people without baggage people where everything just becomes magical again and I feel like you're about to meet someone truly special and sees how truly special you are as well and I feel like there is a commitment here where um, you take the journey of life and love with each other but I feel it's a slow burn okay so I feel uh, you and this person you take your time to get to know each other lots of whining and dining and dates that sort of thing uh, so that's what I see coming in for you. But I feel it won't become a high-level commitment until later on in the year is what I'm seeing there for this particular um, reading. So I'm just going to get some final cards, as I said, just to close your reading. Uh, we've got the mirror, okay? So this is about self-worth. It's about self-reflection. This is the period that you've been in at this moment in time. 
it's number 26 when you reduce it 2 plus 6 is 8 the number of the self so I feel like you know you're sorting out some things within yourself at this time and really getting to know who you are and what it is that you want but also remember that the universe is like a mirror it reflects back to us what we're putting out there and right now you know there's this energy of you of course investing in yourself so you're going to meet someone who values you and respects you but also you know if you're not uh, making any moves to put yourself in a situation to meet anyone and I know it's easier said than done it's really hard right now um, then of course there will be a level of stagnancy for a while but I do see change happening and of course we've got true love so I do see that you're about to meet someone who is truly special someone who is open-hearted someone who is kind loving passionate and someone who matches your soul song and it's about time because I feel like you've been waiting for a long time also I'm being given listen out for the song okay uh, the uh, Lionel Richie song it is a sign that you're about to meet someone very special okay so listen out for that song you may hear it in the mall you may hear it walking down the street it may suddenly play on your shuffle and maybe it's not even on your shuffle and you're like I don't even like that song but there it is it's popping up because your guides are trying to highlight that this is a sign from the universe don't give up on love because love is not giving up on you okay so I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you. Um, if it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press that little notification bell. It lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. And finally, we have the Arrow Ruin. So this is about Cupid. It's about uh, being on target. It's also an indication that you are a warrior, okay? And you've been through a lot. And sometimes it's really hard to do it all. But I feel like some of you you know you're having the courage to get out there and um, you know meet someone new but also this is a rune of intrigue so there is going to be someone who comes in that um, basically piques your curiosity so I'll leave it there thank you so much and love and light